Before we leave you today, a personal perspective about the death of Jeffrey Epstein, a truly vile and despicable person. I will not shed any tears over his passing, but I do wonder how it could have happened in a strict and secure federal prison. He was being held in the special housing unit, supposedly kept under surveillance by TV cameras and guards. Nevertheless, Epstein found a way to hang himself in his cell early Saturday morning, kaput, he was gone. And that is a shame for the dozens, maybe hundreds of women he sexually abused when they were teenage girls. Epstein abused them once and now he has done it again. They have been denied their right to see him in open court, to testify about what he did to them, to look him in the eye and vent the pain he caused them. But it won't happen because Epstein was the ultimate escape artist. He wiggled out of his problems all his adult life with money and political connections. There will be investigations now, and there should be. I especially, especially like the one suggested by Congresswoman Lois Frankel, who wants the House Oversight Committee. That's the one chaired by Congressman Elijah Cummins. She wants him to look into how Epstein died and why Epstein was able to skate 11 years ago on federal charges. Why did U.S. Attorney in Miami Alex Acosta let him off so easy? Palm Beach County Sheriff Rick Bradshaw and his deputies at the jail also need to explain why they let Epstein out of jail almost every day, 12 hours a day, six days a week on an incredibly lenient work release program. One of the victim's attorneys says during that time away, Epstein had sex with young women. Lawyers for, for uh, Epstein's victims say it's not over, that even after death they are going to find a way to hold Epstein accountable for his transgressions. In other words, money is going to be demanded, some will be paid out. That's all well and good, but money is not justice. And however much they get, Epstein's victims will never see him in open court shamed and humiliated for his predatory behavior. Prosecutors can and will go now after all his enablers and the prominent men who are said to have had sex with many of these young women. Epstein is gone. The stench lingers on. That is my perspective for this week. Hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Remember, as always, stay informed, get involved.